hey guys welcome to my channel so today is another wholesale review video and I'm really excited because I'm actually really pleased with most of the things well basically everything that I had got from this wholesaler so so I basically ordered from Bell Wholesale and I know that a few of you actually on some of my wholesale videos have asked me if I've ever shopped with them and I've never shopped with Bell Wholesale until now. So let me give you guys some information about the order. So I received six items from Bell Wholesale. That's how many items I ordered. So the shipping cost for me was actually pretty high. Okay, so shipping was actually $19, which $19 is like kind of average for buying wholesale clothing, but it was still a lot to me, like especially because I wasn't getting that many items to sell for my own store but if i was selling items for my store i wouldn't mind paying 19 dollars shipping so now i'm just going to show you guys some of the items that i purchased and the first item is this top this is basically a mesh um it's basically like a mesh top with the louis vuitton logo on it and i really i personally really really like this i am really satisfied with the quality it's stretchy you know like it feels like regular mesh the sizing was on point because i got a size medium and it fit fine and this top cost 916 which i think is not that bad for um wholesale so the next thing that i got that i really really that i really really love is this purse and this purse was 1274 and to be honest the quality is really really good it's better than i expected it to be and i'm really satisfied with this i actually seen this bag somewhere before and i wanted to get it but i'm so happy i just got it on this wholesaler's website this bag is kind of like summer vibes though i'm kind of getting summer vibes from this bag or just like a cute date night so another thing i decided to get was a waist trainer and i know it's it's probably kind of random but i like to wear waist trainers especially when working out which i haven't been really working out recently so i think this type of waist trainer is okay but i personally don't think this is the kind of waist trainer that like will really really help you um and also i feel like i should have gotten a size small in this waist trainer but i got a medium and I feel like it will be just like kind of too big but I think I could make it work for the meantime. And the waist trainer cost $8.49 which really isn't bad at all but I don't think that the waist trainer is really going to do much based on the way it feels and stuff. So the next thing I got was this top and I mainly got this top because I thought the, the girl in the picture looked cute with it on. And I thought that, <clears throat> I felt like the girl looked cute with it on and I felt like I could probably take a nice picture with this. And it cost $6.78. The material actually isn't bad at all. But something I noticed about the neck area is that it is extremely tight. So definitely this is one of the tops that you have to do your makeup with it on because this is you're like gonna have to like really do your hair and makeup after after you have put this top on because you are gonna mess it up trying to put this on like this is like really really tight but overall i think that the fit and everything the material is like pretty nice and it costs 678 i'm not sure if i said that already so another thing that i got are these leather pants leather pants and it costs $14.59 and I've actually been wanting a pair of pleather pants but the only thing about this is that it has a weird smell and also I noticed that when I put it on like the um like you guys will see in the picture but like in the top area right here it looks kind of puffy so it's not really as tight as it should be um but something I do like about it is that the um, the material feels like pretty nice and I did end up getting this in an extra large. Yeah, so in these pants, I'm guessing that I should have gotten a large instead of an extra large because of how puffy it was in that area. Because these also do have like a stretch to it so 
it's like you don't really have to worry about it being like too tight so i definitely can say i think this would be true to size only thing is it does have a weird smell i don't know if it's the material or what but and lastly what i got here is actually really random but i still wanted to show you guys so this pastry bag this pastry cream bag only cost 376 and I actually have these already but I have the plastic ones so I was like let me just get the rubber ones I don't have to worry about having to throw them out after for the price I definitely think that it's so worth it if you follow me on Instagram you know that I'm always like cooking or baking and sometimes I post when I do it but I feel like this is definitely worth the price and you you wouldn't find something like this on Amazon so another thing I want to mention about Another thing I want to mention about Bell Wholesale is that they do have like a variety of different things. They even have like electronics and phone cases and stuff like that. And I actually was going to get some of those things, but I decided not to because I already had so many things to test out. But overall, I definitely can say that my experience shopping with Bell Wholesale was pretty good. I feel like the shipping time and the shipping costs were like pretty average for wholesale stuff. And if you guys have ever shopped with them, definitely leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about them and what you like to buy from them. And I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you aren't subscribed already. Thank you guys so much for watching.